Hi everybody, welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Dot2 video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Strandman. I'm from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International. This is the last, the tenth and last clip of our special series about the 1.3 software version. And uh, by the way, this is the 50s tips and tricks clip we are doing. Thanks a lot for your response so far. Uh, you're highly welcome to give us more responses. May it be on YouTube or in the blog or in the Dot2 forum. Talk to us. Send us your wishes, what we should talk about, and um, sooner or later we do it. Now we have a little, we've prepared a little series, a list what we want to do next and so on. But if you say, hey, do something about edit or so, just let us know. You're highly welcome. What do we want to talk about in this 50s clip and in the 10th clip about the 1.3 software version? We want to talk about the last three things we haven't talked about. Uh, not big ones, but it makes life easier. First of all, you can see now by white bar that your executors are switched on. There. Wow, a white bar. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, but uh, especially if you're in virtual playback of, of button wings and so on, you might get confused which is switched on, which not. And you now have a bar in there that indicates that. That was easy. Uh, so that's good for the workflow. What's also good is there's a color info bar, info column now in your queue view. If I say, let's throw an eye, what's in this list? You now find at the very end uh, info. So you can put your informations in there. There's no need to name the queue now different to get the information in there. If you're in here, just type in actor comes from stage right and screams for red wine. Just joking. But you can put this into here. And uh, yeah, please remember if you have a look into your main queue list, you just have to press Q and this one stays where you are. So if you've noticed this, I've pushed, you see, I've put this together to have more space in here. If it's set up like this and you go back, forward, backward, forward and come back, your info is still there. That's only in the main queue list. So this one keeps its position in the window while when you have a look at this one, you simply start at the very left end again. But this one stays at it is your main queue list and you might want to see this all the time you switch it on. So there's a new info column. That's it. Uh, what else? If you edit a queue, you now get a clear sign that you edit. Edit Q once again. Edit one means Q one. Edit one, please. Means from this Q list as a red frame now, you are editing this one. So very clear, not only the edit is flashing, you see it now very directly what you are editing. Once again, edit me Q1 of this list. You get a red frame. This one doesn't change. It's still at main. So you have to have a look. This one you're editing. Three simple things that should make life easier for you. That's it for today, folks. And stay tuned. We're going to continue next week. I wish you a long, nice weekend. Take care. This was Michael. This was... Tips and tricks for dot two. Take care. Bye.